Welcome back, Vikings. I'm Costanza. And I'm Levi. And, and this, this is Viking, Viking Vision. Vision. Seniors, make sure you finish your college applications for UC and Cal State schools. The deadline for all applications is on November 30th. Fall break begins on November 17th, and we return back to school on November 27th. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Now let's head over to Michael to see where your Thanksgiving traditions are. Hi Vikings, my name is Michael. Let's go see where family Thanksgiving traditions are. I usually go to Vegas because I have family over there, so like every year I go over there, visit them. Uh, we usually go around the table to say what we're grateful for that year and what we're looking forward to for the next year. Um, I usually go over to my grandma's house. Uh, we all spend it there. Uh, yeah, we usually have a good time. My favorite food to eat on Thanksgiving is fried rice. My favorite food to eat on Thanksgiving will probably be, for sure, turkey and mac and cheese. You can never go wrong with that. Mm, my favorite food to eat on Thanksgiving is probably like a macaroni salad that my grandma does. I don't know, it's like a Mexican macaroni salad. I, like, I don't know what it is, but it's my favorite food. What are some family activities you do on Thanksgiving? Uh, I'll be so honest, sometimes I play Xbox with my brother and my dad, or I'll go outside and like play catch with my grandpa. Uh, me and my family, we usually play uh, Loteria. We play that. We do a lot of card games. Grandparents usually are gambling and stuff with quarters. What's better, turkey or ham? Turkey. Always. Hands down ham. If you like turkey, you're wrong. A good turkey will beat a good ham every time. I'd say ham. I think ham's better. We love hearing your family traditions. Have a great Thanksgiving, Vikings. Thank you, Vikings, for sharing your Thanksgiving traditions with us. There are several new teachers that have joined the Viking family. Let's get to know a few of them. What do you teach? So I teach literacy enhancement, which is basically English, but focused on reading. I teach biology and earth science. Uh, social studies, so US history, world history, and then AP human geography. So this year I am teaching intro to TV production. Um, so I'm teaching students how to work with cameras, make short films, uh, and produce their own material. What is a fun fact about you? Fun fact, I am originally from the state of Wyoming, and there's not a lot of people from this state, so, yeah. Fun fact about me is that I'm a big kid at heart. I love going to Disneyland, love collecting Pokemon cards, playing Magic Gathering, watching anime, even Bluey as well, so, very big kid. Uh, I worked in and out for 13 years before I um, started teaching, uh, and if you get hired in and out, or if you work in and out, uh, my voice is the voice in all the training videos, so I narrate the training videos for in and out or I used to. Um, I actually was a part of the FAME program here as a student uh, about almost 10 years ago, um, and I was a student with Miss Woods. She was one of our teachers on staff during that time, which is pretty cool. What do you love about Northview so far? I think my favorite thing is just seeing all of the school spirit and the focus on both academics and athletics. I think there's a really cool culture for that here, and I like that a lot. Uh, the one thing I love about Northview is that it's just the giant family. You know, my first couple days here, everybody was curious, wanted to get to know me, know everything about me. And there's been no judgment, there's been things that people or I can relate to and it's just been very welcoming and that's been the best part about being here. Uh, th this place is definitely uh, like coming home. I, I went to school here, I played football here. There's teachers here that I took when I was here, uh, coaches here that coached me when I was here. Coach Prez is the reason that I became a coach and a teacher. Uh, he gave me my first coaching job when I finished playing football in college and constantly um, encouraged me to finish my schooling, to go back and get my degree, to get my teaching credential. I mean, he's, you know, one of the major reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing today. So coming home here though, it, like I said, it definitely feels like home. And then not just the teachers, it's, it's the students too. A lot of you guys remind me of the people I grew up with, my friends that I still have today. So it's um, definitely a homecoming feeling when I'm here and it's, you know, no place I'd rather be. 
Um, the students, the students are so good. Um, there's just like a really good sense of community here. I think our students lift each other up and empower each other, um, which is really refreshing to see because you don't always see that at schools. Um, so just school environment, it's just really nice to be a part of some place where students are happy to be here and they interact well with one another. Big welcome to all of our new Northview teachers this school year. Attention seniors, cap and gowns need to be ordered by December 1st to ensure that they arrive before graduation. Visit the Jostens website to order your cap and gown soon. Now let's go to Vincent with sports. Hey Vikings, welcome back to sports. Girls tennis, varsity football, and cross country had an outstanding season as they all made it to CIF. Congratulations Vikings. Special shout out to the boys cross country for making it to CIF for the first time in 14 years. As fall sports comes to an end, winter sports begin. Boys and girls wrestling have their first tournament on the 18th. Boys and girls soccer had their first game this past Monday against Wilson. Varsity boys soccer tied 2-2 and JV won 4-1. Good luck on the rest of your season. Boys basketball started off their season with the win against La Puente and have a home game against Cal Baptist on the 17th. Girls basketball had a tournament on Tuesday and beat Bishop Conte, Loreto, 70-35 and Lawndale, 67-31. They have their next tournament this Friday. Good luck, Vikings. Well, that's it for Sports Vikings. Congratulations to all of our amazing athletes. Well, that's all for today's episode. And remember, Vikings, good life. Good life. Catch, Catch you later. later. <laughs> Stop laughing! <laughs>